Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Mi 11X, also known as the Poco F3 and the Redmi K40. Now, what do we have here? Once again, we are looking at a MIUI based ROM, but as it happens every week, this is yet another update of Xiaomi.eu weekly. We're going to have a quick look at the benchmark numbers. We will see if there is anything new and should you install it or not. But before we get into all of that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find a link to our Telegram community where you have more than a thousand like-minded people chatting with each other. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to PhoneOps, my name is Kalash, let's get going. Alright, so what do we have here? As I said, Mi 11X, Poco F3, Redmi K40, whatever you wanna call it. If you go to settings, you go to my device and you click on MIUI version. Over here, you will notice it says MIUI 12.6 instead of 12.5. The weekly version is 21.8.11 and this is definitely based on the China beta. Now, if you go here and if you click on what's new, you will see it says memory extension feature Redmi Note 8, Redmi Note 9 4G, Redmi 9T. So probably those devices have been added with you know memory extension. System launcher, screen time widget, steps widget, these are added. Optimization apps will say there's a rebuild if a rebuilt ROM will be released. That's great, that's the updater. Improved download stability, that's for their OTA updater. Fix tapping notifications about new version redirects to download view now. Fix UI should no longer freeze while checking MD5. The change log doesn't mention all changes made by Xiaomi.eu or Xiaomi. So, you know, all in all, what this clearly states over here is that whatever changes are there in the China beta, probably they have not been mentioned. These are the changes of Xiaomi.eu. So one by one, we will go ahead and check the application versions. But before that, I would like to mention the experience that I've had. Now, remember Mi 11X right now is my personal phone. This is my secondary phone and my third SIM card, which I barely use, is there in the Redmi K20 Pro and the Poco F1 is somewhere. It is there, it'll be back to the channel, don't worry. So yeah, for now, I did not you know, go ahead and make a lot of changes. I've just installed a bunch of applications that I usually use. You do see this noise fit over here because I do use a smartwatch by them. Now, moving on, the UI smoothness, the first thing that I look for whenever I flash a particular ROM. Now you will notice as always with every China beta or every Xiaomi.eu weekly release, the smoothness is pretty, pretty good. So let's say we go over here and let's go to display. Screen refresh rate is 120 Hertz. So that's pretty, pretty neat. Let's go ahead and kill all the applications. So to the left, you of course have Google Discover and over here you have your system launcher. From the top to bottom, you do have your control center with notifications and quick tiles. The updated control center, which has the brightness slider staying stuck over here. And if you do this, everything will, like the UI will disappear and stuff like that. So pretty good, you have Dolby Atmos and all the other functionality which is provided with the Mi 11X and everything is working fine as expected. You should not have any problem with Widevine L1. You should not have any problem with safety net. So banking applications and entertainment should not be an issue at all. Now let's first go to the security application. Let's go to the settings of security application. And uh, let's have a look over here about 5.5.8 dot 21080 now what this gives me a hint about is this is probably the same security version which comes with an updated game turbo so let's quickly launch one of the applications which has game turbo enabled and uh, let's maybe try to see if we have the updated game turbo let's go ahead and allow i've not ran the benchmarks yet i just ran geek bench and the cpu throttle bench so yeah now you can see over here this is the updated game turbo the voice changer is working just fine i've not tried it in pubg but otherwise voice changer is working so if you have a look you have clear memory dnd screenshot record brightness wi-fi cast turn off screen none settings voice changer and timer right so you do have these timers over here so you can go ahead and enable or disable that 
you have these particular options over here and you have the time dnd clear memory wi-fi cast turn off screen and you do have your voice changer as well so that is of course the updated security application with the updated game turbo that is something really really neat now let's move on to the camera application because this is something which is really really interesting as well now you do have your usual stuff like dual video or clone mode and the cinematic mode or movie effects and stuff like that so all of that is there you do have the new UI which was introduced quite some time back so that is all good now you know as I always keep saying this this is something not that significant for the Mi 11x because even the Indian version of Mi 11x has good app icon animations and things work just fine but you will see that the feel of this ROM you know be it China Beta or be it Xiaomi.eu it's very very smooth very very subtle so that is something really really neat and you do have your apps grouped over here now let's have a look at the widgets over here there was something mentioned about widgets as you can see over here the widgets in this particular version of MIUI look slightly different they have done some changes to make it look like I don't know maybe more like iOS or something so let's have a look over here we have the clock we have the weather um, what else we have the health and we have the security widget over here so if you want you can place it over here not enough space how about this can you place it over here so you go to widgets and let's look for the security widget again real quick there it is there you go so try agree so it gives you app suggestions and stuff like that so that widget so the widgets are working fine the menu of widgets has sort of changed so that is something good things are getting updated now apart from this let's have a quick look at the settings we need to dive into settings because that is where majority of the changes happen for Xiaomi devices when it comes to the China beta so first of all in my devices you have all the specifications over here right so if you go to all specs you will notice that this particular device does come with the 1st of August security update. It says MIA 12.6 by Xiaomi.eu 21.8.11 beta. It says 100 gigs available out of 128. So that's everything about the specifications. Now let's go to security status. It says find device on security update this Google Play Protect. Right, no harmful apps found. Google Play system update and stuff like that. Now if you go to SIM cards and mobile networks, we go to advanced settings data roaming nothing major that is changed over here under Wi-Fi more or less everything the same even in Bluetooth in connection and sharing you have Chromebook Android Auto everything is still the same under wallpaper and personalization you do have this particular new UI which is still not made it to the global variant of the ROM so this is something pretty pretty neat you can directly change the font and alarms and all those things so that's great you do have your always on display which is working as expected right then if you go to display you have your control center status bar so if you go over here you have these particular options which you can make changes to and you can change the refresh rate it's sad to see that they are still not providing a 90 hertz refresh rate of option because it is very much possible some custom roms have it and it would have been great to see the 90 hertz option now moving on if you go to sound and touch you will see that everything over here is pretty much the same like the global rom there are no major changes that you will see over here you have something called as sound effects in which you have dolby atmos working like a boss and under additional settings you can disable the boot sound notification and control center you have these live preview of the notification and control center collapse after touch and stuff like that so that's working you do have smart home which you will not see in the global rom because this is based on the china beta as i said earlier now under passwords and security you have the privacy protection password all the other things you have face unlock fingerprint unlock everything is working as expected Moving on, if we have a look at battery, the battery life on this ROM has been pretty decent. Do you do see that I did benchmark this particular device. I have been using it for close to 1 hour 42 minutes and don't worry, this is not 100 to 39. The phone was at around 50-60% battery when I flashed this, so everything good over here. Fast charging works as expected, nothing to worry there. 
Now, if you go to uh, privacy protection over here, you will see that it has the new iOS type of privacy UI in which each permission is grouped awareness and protection. So that is something pretty, pretty neat. I hope we see that in the global version of the ROM real soon. Under apps, you have your usual stuff. Under additional settings, you don't have anything fancy. Full screen display, screen time, agree. Xiaomi's version of digital well-being working just fine over here. And under special features, you have Game Turbo, Video Toolbox, Floating Windows, Second Space, MIUI Lab has AI preloading, which we can turn on, and then you have the light mode. So no major changes there as well. So all in all, this China Beta as well is a polished version. They are still bug, you know, fixing the bugs. They are not making any major changes. They are moving towards MIUI 13 slow by slow. But if you were to use Xiaomi.eu as a daily driver, I did play BGMI for some time on this, and I believe it's a pretty, pretty good experience. Also, I did not try the 90 hertz mode or the 90 fps mode to put it more appropriately but i'm pretty sure it will handle games pretty well because this device comes with a snapdragon 870. now let's have a look at the cpu throttle test and the geekbench scores before we wrap up this video all right now there were a couple of spikes over here but it does say cpu throttle to 91 percent of its max performance which i'm definitely okay with Average performance is 216, 469. Now, if you remember the last video that we put out about this same device with the MIUI 12.5 enhanced version, that scored 240 or 250,000 at similar temperatures, at similar conditions. So this is definitely not as good, but it performs pretty, pretty decent. Now let's go ahead and have a look at the Geekbench score over here. So let's wait for this game turbo thing to go away. Let's go to history. 949 3287 now again this is slightly less compared to the rom that we reviewed the enhanced version but all in all what i can say is if you want to have the latest weekly update i would not suggest you go to mi mi 12.5 china because that does come with a bunch of chinese stuff this is the rom you should be using if you want the absolute latest of MIUI. You can get updates every week and almost all the latest features by Xiaomi will be included in this particular ROM. Let me know in the comment section. We will be doing this every week. Will it be informative? If yes, we'll be doing it for the K20 Pro as well. Until the next one, this is Kailash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.